Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one we're going to be doing a one shot in build with Tinker Tom with that giant hammer you see right there for raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's start off with how to get Tinker Tom. Now the easiest way I found to get Tinker Tom is go right here on the map. So we're going to be flying over to Asado Desert Watchtower. So once you've flown over to the desert, just sprint to the ruins that you can see over there. And as you can see, there'll be a little pink boy right there. You just want to encounter him and then you want to catch your Tinker Tink. Preferably we want to be having a steel type terror unfortunately this time I didn't get it and I already leveled up the Pokemon to level 100. Now to get our Tinkerton you just need to level it up a bit and it will evolve and the item we're going to be using on our Tinkerton is going to be the Life Orb. Now let me show you where to get the Life Orb real quick you just got to go over to Mesagosa West. Once you're at Mesagosa West we're going to be going this way through this archway. Once we're at Mesagosa West we're going to be going this way through this little archway here and then we're going to be turning right and heading towards the stairs that will be over here. Once you're at the bottom of the stairs I want you to turn left and just follow this road until you reach the deli bird shop and then we're going to be clicking on battle items and you want to go about halfway down and you'll see the life orb for 50,000 poker dollars you're going to want to go ahead and buy that now the life orb increases your damage by 50 percent at the cost of some of your hp but who needs hp when you're just one hitting your opposition now we're going to be running an adamant nature mint so you want to go back where you came from to get your mints we're going to be going to the top of the stairs keep going going forward and then when you get to this point right here turn right and you'll see a black and green shop it's the Chansey supply shop just go inside there and then you want to click I'd like to buy and when you scroll down you'll see some mints for 20,000 polka dollars you want to click the adamant mint once you've bought your adamant mint we're going to be applying it to our tinkerton this will raise our attack and decrease our special attack because we are a physical attacker our EVs are going to go into HP and attack and you want to also make sure you have max IVs to maximize your chance of winning all your raids if you don't know how to max your ivs just go to any deli bird shop and then you want to click on general goods and you can buy bottle cats for twenty thousand poker dollars each each bottle cat will get one stat to a max iv so you'll need five to do it fully without the special attack so we're going to buy five of these it will cost us one hundred thousand poker dollars once you have your five bottle cats we're going to be heading over to montenevra which is right up here once you've made it to montenevra we're going to be heading over this way to the person with the Obama Snow. He will hyper train your Pokemon. You just want to click on your Tinkerton and then click Bottle Caps. And then we're going to be raising the HP, the attack, the defense, the special defense, and speed. So we was at 270 attack and now we're going to check it again. And now we're at 273. So we must have been near max IV attack, but it still give it a little bit of a boost. That little bit of a boost could be the difference between you winning the raid and losing the raid. Now for the ability, we have two abilities. Uh, we have own tempo, which when we attack, we don't get affected by intent intimidate and we can't be confused or we have a mold breaker where when we attack our attacks aren't affected by the opponent's ability i would recommend own tempo but you can go with either one they're both pretty good now our attacks are going to be gigaton hammer swords dance baby doll eyes and skitter smack so gigaton hammer is a very powerful move you probably know what it is by now if you don't it does a ton of damage 160 power with 100 in accuracy the only fallback is you can't use it twice in a row but we only need one attack anyway to finish the and we're going to boost its power even more with sword stance this will boost our attack by two stages every time we use it we have baby doll eyes this will give us priority we will attack first and we will lower the target's physical attack this protects us against physical attackers by quite a bit and gives us a chance to set up and finish them off with gigaton hammer the same with skitter smack skitter smack reduces their special attack so when we're against a special attacker skitter smack set up with sword stance and then gigaton hammer this will finish the special attackers off so gigaton hammer baby doll eyes and skitter smack you can learn all of those through level up you don't have to worry about those swords dance however we will need to learn through tm if you don't know where to learn tms then go to any pokemon center it's the green section you just want to speak to the tm machine now swords dance is tm 88 and it will cost you 5000 lp free zangoose claws free gibble scales and free cypher claws let me show you where to get these so to get these zangoose you're going to want to come down all the way to the bottom and we're going to be coming right here on the map so what you want to do is you want to fly to the nearest location I'm going to go to the shrine and then I'm going to make my way over. And now I'm going to be climbing the cliff and heading over there. Now, as soon as you get to the top of this cliff, you'll be able to see the Zangooses if any of them have spawned. 
and we're just going to be searching around there's one right next to the pill so what you want to do is you want to take that out and then you will get your zangoose claws now to get our gibble scales we're going to come over to alpha nada once we're at alpha nada we're going to be heading to that cave right over there that you can see once we're inside the cave we're just going to keep going and making our way down slowly following this path until we find a gibble now when you find your gibble it's probably just going to be a couple of gibbles with a goodbye next to it if you struggle to find it you can always use a dragon sandwich so we have found some over here we're going to take them out and that's how we're going to get our gibble scales now to get our cipher we're going to come to the lake right here we're going to fly over to castraya watchtower number one and then we're going to make our way over here so once you flew over to your watchtower what we're going to do is we're going to just drop down over this way and when you get to your bottom and when you get to the bottom you're going to search around this area till you find a cipher and then we're just going to be taking out that cipher and that will get us our cipher claws and now that we've got all our moves and i've shown you the full build of the tinkerton let's get into some raids so we found our first five star raid it's a fairy type five star satyan let's begin so we have a star raptor on our team with intimidate so we don't need to use baby dell eyes so we're just going to set up with sars dance straight away if we didn't have the intimidate partner on our team then we would use baby dell eyes and then use sars dance so that first sars dance has put us on a plus two attack uh, he does use drowse on us so we can only use one more attack before we get put to sleep so we're going to use sword stance again this will put us on plus four attack the satyan is paralyzed now and now we're going to heal up so we're not asleep anymore hopefully he doesn't insta yawn us he doesn't have too much that he can use against us he uses liquidation that's fine and now he uses snow skate but that won't affect him because he's a fairy type now we're going to use our third sword stance so now we're on max attack and we can attack next turn with gigaton hammer he uses yawn so this is our last attack anyway let's see how much damage we can do so we use gigaton hammer hopefully it one hits it doesn't quite one hit but it does come quite close and then he uses ice spinner now so titan's got like a base hp of i think it's 170 so he's a very very bulky pokemon if that was most of a pokemon it would have ko'd straight away so now we're going to heal up to get rid of that sleep again he's not actually removed our buffs yet um, which is interesting. He uses Entrainment. I don't know what that does. Oh, it changes our ability to Thick Fat. And now we can use Gigaton Hammer again. No, we can't. We can't use it twice in a row. We're going to use Skitter Smack. This will do a tiny bit of damage and reduce his special attack, even though he's not a special attacker. He uses Yawn. Now, if he removes our buffs here, then we're in a, a little bit of trouble. So he doesn't remove our buffs, so we're just going to use Gigaton Hammer, and that does a decent amount of damage. Now we just need to wait. He nullifies everything on our side. We're fine here. We're just going to heal up to get rid of that sleep again now when the opponent can put you to sleep and they are very bulky it's not a very good combination for any pokemon to have to deal with because we can't use gigaton hammer twice in a row we're going to terrestrialize and use sword stance this is when your uh, terror type does come in handy like if we were steel type here it would just be a clean sweep we could just finish them off i'm not sure if we can finish them off now because we're not a steel type in one attack but we're going to give it a go so we're going to use gigaton hammer it doesn't quite finish them off but it does come very close and one of the other Pokemon finishes it off. Now that was one of the harder Pokemon to have to actually face with Tinkerton because of the amount of HP it has that putting you to sleep every other turn but we still managed to finish the raid off in the end and it was worth it because we got two Herba Mysticas. So we did get lucky our six star raid for today is an ice type Pokemon so we are super effective against it. It's a six star ice type Pelipper. Let's begin. So apart from the Satyan that we faced first Tinkerton has one shot every single Pokemon that I've come against so far but we've only been doing five star raids because six star raids can be hard to come against so it should be interesting to see how we do our own tempo is going to save us in this fight though because we can't be confused and this pokemon has hurricane and supersonic i believe so our first attack did miss but we're going to use skitter smack on our second attack this will lower the special attack because he does have hydro pump there it is it doesn't do it as much as it would have done it does have rain dance as well to power up its hydro pump and now we're going to start using solid stance so that's the first one this will get us on plus two attack pelipper uses mist and then we go for another sword stance this puts us on plus four attack he uses hydro pump again that's fine uh, we're going to use another sword stance now we're on max attack and next turn we will be able to use gigaton hammer now he did miss because it is a risk using hydro pump and now the rain has stopped and now we're going to use gigaton hammer see how much damage we can do so we use it and 
and it does most of its health and damage it's just got a little bit of health left it uses hydro pumps not going to do nearly as much as before because the rain's gone and then its shield goes up so it removes negative effects from itself that's fine and then uses agility So now it is faster than us if it wasn't before i can't remember whether it was it takes some of our terror away that's fine now if you're going to be taking on six star raids with this pokemon then i highly recommend you get the steel type terror so if you get a smack this will lower its special attack again oh no it did use mist so it won't actually lower its special attack and now we can use gigaton hammer again it's used hydro pump this could kill us actually yeah it does kill us i wasn't paying attention to our health that's fine nullifies all stat changes on our side so unfortunately we didn't actually get our attack away then it would have done a lot of damage now we're going to do a quick check on the pelipper uh, it's not got its mist anymore so we're going to use skitter smack oh it does use mist that's a wasted opportunity on our side uh, we do miss anyway so it wouldn't have made a difference could have used sword stance though so he uses hydro pump how much is this going to do does about half of our damage so we're going to use a gigaton hammer on our next turn now we're on plus two let's see how much damage this does it does a tiny bit of damage now we're going to use a cheer heal up see how much it heals it only heals a little bit that's fine it misses a hydro pump it uses hydro pump again it misses again we're going to use sword stance then it uses mist so we can lower its special attack like earlier and now we're going to use gigaton hammer i'm hoping this finishes it off it doesn't quite finish it off it does a lot of damage though now we're going to heal up now it does miss uh, another hydro pump it's only got that 80 percent accuracy now i wonder if heal counts as a move can we use gigaton hammer no we can so it uses hydro pump successfully this time and does some damage to us we're going to use sword stance it uses hydro pump again we should survive on about 20 to 30 health or 80 health i thought it'd do more than that now we can finish it off with a gigaton hammer now keep in mind we would have done this raid ages ago if we actually had a steel type terror i am going to actually change that because i want to be doing six star raids with tinkerton it's a very fun pokemon to use got his big hammer what more could you want so when you do actually use your tinkerton make sure it is a steel type terror it will do the world of good that's if you plan to take on six star raids with it anyway if you only taking on five star raids then you should be fine with either terror let's move on to the third raid so i was just running to our next raid and i just i wasn't even watching and i accidentally ran into a pokemon i just heard the sparkle noise and it was like whoa and uh, we got a shiny persian amazing guessing that's just an instant cat there we go i wasn't just imagining it was i it was shiny yeah it was can't complain not shiny speaking of lucky uh, the day after we found our other six star raid that we're super effective against we actually got another six star raid that we're super effective against so the luck continues so it's going to be a rock type six star galade let's begin so we're going to start off this fight by using baby doll eyes because it is a physical attacker this will reduce its attack it uses close combat and gets a critical hit that's very unfortunate this will reduce its defense and special defense though and now we're going to use sword stance on our next turn which will raise our attack by two stages it uses will-o-wisp we're gonna heal next turn get some health back get rid of the burn so we are going to heal now let's see how much it heals by hopefully a lot we get a very small heal it was like 60 70 health unfortunately it uses close combat again oh no it did like 160 health it reduces its defense and special defense now if it doesn't remove negative effects from itself i was gonna say we're gonna use one more sword stance and then use gigaton hammer but it's disabled our sword stance so we won't be doing that this galage just full of surprises that we don't particularly like eh? we're going to use gigaton hammer we're only on plus two so i don't know how much this is going to do it actually does a lot of damage well uh, technically i guess we was on plus four because it used close combat twice it just used it again it steals some of our terror charge which is unfortunate we don't need it at this point though it takes its shield up it's only got a little bit of health left so it removes negative effects from itself so that baby doll eyes is no longer then it uses psychic terrain it's not going to do anything to us though because i don't think I think it's psycho cut will do much damage unless it crits now we did actually change to a steel type terror i was hoping to show that off in this fight but it looks like galage just gone down too quick because of all the close combats it does use will o wisp this will burn us again and now we're not doing as much damage this galage just loves like taking away our terror charge it just does not want us to get that steel terror charge going so we have healed to get rid of the burn I ho i'm hoping it uses close combat it does it does do a lot of damage but it reduces its defense and special defense and now we can use use gigaton hammer to see how much damage this does hopefully it finishes and i think it does the glade goes down we have over half the time remaining we could have one shot it if it didn't disable us gotta love that so that's the uh that's the tinkerton hammer in action eh and against two six star raids you can't really complain you can complain at that though no mystica boo if you 
you like these really high damage one shot builds, then check this Houndoom build on screen right now. That does a ton of damage and I'll catch you on the next one.